it's your boy, the Muppet Sucks all the way back at you, inviting you to check this out. The show, we take a look, whatever deck we want to take a look at. Have a good time, whether it be a troll deck, rogue deck, meta deck, casual deck. We take a look at all sorts of decks here, and today, we're falling back to basics. And today, we're not going to go for some crazy strategy, not some convoluted boss monster or something, no. We're just going to be trolling people. We're going to be playing an anti-meta troll deck. It's been a while since I've just trolled people. Honest and for truly, it's been a while. I just wanna, I just wanna do that. I just wanna take it easy and troll people. Just a little bit of light trolling. It's nothing too crazy, but it's gonna be, it's gonna be a lot of fun when we start making people mad about it. So we got ourselves our troll deck today. It's got the usual things and a couple of the not so usual things. And we're gonna be taking this on Edio Pro and showing off how it works, the cards, the combos. You know the drill. You want the deck list? It's in the description. If you want to you want to hit the like button maybe sub on the way down there go right ahead uh, but for now we're going to go to edo pro the wild west Yu-Gi-Oh. we're going to be showing off how this troll deck works and just give people a hard time and you know we'll all laugh together about it all right yeah our first opponent another day another card game we're just going to get right into it we'd like to go first going first is usually best for this deck and we've got ourselves a nice hand for doing so Got our nice background, nice classic sleeves, the top net sleeves. It's gonna be good. All right, so for our opening, let's see, what do we want to do? Let's start with the Time Terry Morganite. Nice little spell. We draw two for the rest of, of a duel. Uh, let's see here. What do we want to do? Do we want, to, um, hmm, so many options. Do I go to Inspect Border or do I want to go Pack Cephalu? Inspect Border. Uh, let's see stop him from monster effect. Yeah, let's go for inspector border There's a, we have many different ways we can go about it. We're just gonna go for this way Nice simple start gets us where we need to be. We've got our inspector border now. We're both locked out of monster effects It's pretty brutal, but it's all good. I got my monster that they can attack directly Doesn't really work with inspect border on the field, but I still have a monster that can attack directly as long as I have this any sort of stall game my opponent might put on board will not work. That's what the barnacle is for. You know, most troll decks are just about like, well, decks like this one are like sit on monsters like a border and pack of stuff blue, wait the opponent out. But on the off chance that they have a little bit of a little bit of grit to them, and they actually try to wait you out, then the barnacle is good for this. Oh, what is this? Tony Sprite Blue. Okay. Interesting indeed. So he's got a couple monsters. Funnily enough, I am planning to play Sprite Melpies. I was actually going to do that today, but then I thought to myself, I want to do something more simplified. Well, yeah, Sprite Melpies can be rather devastating. They have quite a few things that they could do. Usually around that uh, Link 2 that they have. Dip, ditch the, uh, the uh, what do you call it? the Nimble Monster. Get a bunch more stuff. It's a very combo-esque deck. But it relies entirely on monster effects. So unless you can out the border, uh, my opponent's gonna have a hard time. Because the sprite blue doesn't do anything. Uh, Sky Cavalry is a pretty bossy monster. Inga Dinga Durgan, but this is why we have battle traps. This is the exact reason we play battle traps, is in case of stuff like this. So we're, we're pretty set. We're pretty set. This, this deck is not that complicated to get. Once you get yourself established, you're pretty good. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, eh, let him stew. Let's see, what do we have here? Mm hmm. Uh, on occasion. Yes. <laughs> we'll just, we'll just play into it. Let's go for our pack of cephalo, really cement. No special summoning allowed. You're just not allowed. And we'll just attack our opponent directly. Touch grass. I did yard work yesterday. <laughs> okay, well, perfectly understandable. That, that That's understandable salt. Very much understandable salt. So, my opponent surrenders as, you know, he probably doesn't have any outs to this. He's not playing Regeki. Most modern decks don't play Regeki, so you're pretty set there. And we got ourselves our board. You understand what this deck's about. And uh, I had Waking the Dragon, too. We were, we were setting up for stuff. Uh, but for now, let's go ahead for duel number two. Continue to troll people. Alrighty, second opponent. Let's go and do it again. 
And again and again, very consistent we've got here. What do we have for an opening hand? Hmm. Many things, many hands making light work. We have many different tools of trolling today. There are many different strategies we may possess. Uh, Dimension Shifter might need that later, but for now, not so much. Let me think here. What did we lose? Nothing we can't live without. We play a lot of doubles in our extra deck, just in case. We don't want to lose everything. So we'll start off our pack to Thefalu, because we can be rude like that. We'll set our Dog Punishment, Solemn Johnson, and... I'm, I'm gonna save Storming up the off chance I need it. So we're just gonna sit on that and see where this goes. So, standby phase? Nah. Not yet. So this seems to be a Monarch deck, actually. Pretty, pretty good. Uh, if he summons Eidos, I should definitely trigger there could be the only the one. Because... Uh, he's got... Not that guy. I was thinking the Eidos gives him the extra normal summon, so that could be a potential issue. We don't want any potential issues if we can help it. Uh, but my opponent is doing the strategy to counter us. He is playing of a turtle-style defense. This is where the barnacle comes into play. I can just start nipping at my opponent over and over. Oh! And look who it is! It's my barnacle boy! You can just call me Merman. Alright. But yeah, basically we have Drill a Barnacle. He can attack directly. Every time he does, he gets bigger. So, let us just do that. Let's just do exactly what I just said. Attack directly, Drill Barnacle. Do the thing. Do the thing indeed. What has he got? Mm. Okay, I'm not gonna activate the thing, whatever it is. We don't know yet what it is, but we know it exists. And I'll attack the face. I'm not gonna leave the face down alone. This is a Monarch deck. He's got Tribute Butter. Forbidden Chalice. Interesting choice. Oh! Mm. Oh! That's nice. Very nice. Alright, um... I mean, I can destroy most anything he can summon anyway, so... Go right ahead. That, that was... I'm actually rather kind of impressed by that, and I don't know why, but I am. I'm a little impressed by that. Like, you know, negate my effects and then summon that Nimble Mamungas. Nimble Mamunga! Very cool, very cool. And he got his life points back too, so that's pretty neat. Uh, but I also have the There Can Only Be One. Just <laughs> only one monster type on the board, of each type. Pretty brutal against a certain opponents. They only use like one typing. Like, if this guy was heroes, this is absolutely devastating. Ooh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. All right. Well, we're just being mean today. <laughs> we got, like, all the... We got all the nasty little treats in this one. So we got our attack of Thephalo. He's immune to battle, more or less. I've got my Barnacle. I can just keep attacking my opponent directly over and over. Uh, and I don't really need to attack the Mamungas, do I? Hmm. I'm gonna feel stupid if this is something important, but I'm gonna attack it anyway. What is it? Nimble Beaver! I'm a little curious as to what the... What is the purpose of the Nimbles in this deck? Is this a Monarch Nimble deck? He's using the Nimbles as tribute fodder, perhaps. That's the only thing I can think of. Because otherwise, what is the point? Oh, hello, Thunder King Ryo! Hey, my boy, uh, no more searching for either of us. Uh, yeah, no more searching, pretty much. Which is fine, I don't I don't need to search. I don't search, I just draw a lot of cards. That's all I need to do. But yeah, th this is what we do. My opponent, very impressive on their part. They have not given up. They have not raged at me yet. Keyword is yet. Uh, and, you know, he's trying. Mm, nah, I'm, I'm gonna leave the Mamungas. It might be silly to leave the Mamungas, but I'm... A little overconfident in my ability to deal with whatever he's trying to do. So this is some kind of tribute. Is this raw? Raw. It's a slow as dirt version of raw, but okay. Oh, hello, time tearing Morganite. I, I guess the consistency of this deck is ridiculous. 
we run a lot of two and three ups of a lot of our good cards so it's really easy to just get everything we need so let's just attack with the barnacle i just want to you know what trolling that i have today i want to at least win one duel uh in the traditional way of beating my opponent over the head with a small creature kind of like playing pokemon all right well, yeah I, I guess that is what this is this is a imagine this is a lot more impressive when my opponent can you know special summon uh play the game ha have multiple creatures on the board that sort of deal but th the fact that i have all this kind of shuts them down and we just keep drawing into all the outs to all the things who are not actually seeing but you know what for this second duel let's let our barnacle boy wing for game there you go so perfect we're showing off everything this decade we're making people salty we're having some competent opponents we're beating into with barnacle let's go for the third duel which is probably gonna be a combination of those two things Alrighty, the third opponent to the fighting third normally but now it's the trolling turn the troll the trolling duel bit but yeah the time for the third opponent and we're getting very consistent with going first i do like that what do we have for a hand this deck is just so consistent it's insane it's insane you know we, you cut out all the fluff you cut out all the combo enablers and the all that nonsense you just get a deck that's very perfectly suited to just saying hey here's pack of cephalo have fun with that <laughs> that's what it does sometimes you just need to you know kick back stop trying to prove a thing with how crazy your combos are and just mess with people it would be even better if we were just both playing i don't know tiny warrior beatdown or something that'd be even cooler well this works too this works too what are we up against live it wins interesting uh good luck making your links with only one monster i mean you could do it you could make um uh al mirage yeah yeah imagine that's that that was probably my opponent's play it was make al mirage did you know that al mirage is actually a salomon great card many people don't know this it's true al mirage is part of that archetype nobody knew but a few people do uh, but yeah basically my opponent's realizing that uh, he can't summon or do any of his combos because i have this the skeletal dinosaur dude funny fact about this fossil it's kind of like a frog the jam thing uh he's not part of the fossil archetype uh, i imagine that's on purpose I forget if fossils have an easy searcher for themselves, but if they do, that's probably the reason this is not part of the archetype. They don't want anything to do with this guy. <gasps> he's such a trolley monster. He's all about, he's, he's all, if you look at the thumbnail, he's all about disrespect. All about that. All right. Let's not get too ahead of ourselves. This guy is still alive, technically. All right. Well, now that I've gotten that out of the way, let's, uh, drill barnacle? Drill Barnacle, Barnacle of the Drills. Oh. Oh, uh, yeah, I've got to pay 500 to attack. You're going to be out of life points before I am, buddy. I only, I only need one life point. I don't know what you think that's going to do to me, but okay. You do you. Uh, you do you. All right, we're all set. We're all set. So, yeah, life point, just 500 to attack. The other one does something similar, but I can't remember what it is. 500 for something. I can't remember. I honestly cannot. But yeah, th this guy, I don't know what he's trying to do. But if he gets um, an evil twin, not an evil twin, uh, an unchained. I do recall that there is the unchained trap that can pop cards, so he could do that. As you, as you can see from the second duel, we can do damage in this deck. But it takes time to do the damage. My opponent clearly believes that they will live long enough to do that damage. Uh, however, no one expects the double barnacle. Twice as much barnacle half the time. All right, well, we should be pretty set. And are we going to have game next turn? No, but getting pretty close. Pretty damn close to game. Let's see. I, mean, the, I know that next turn will be game. I'm actually math. Math is a thing. I can do math. All right. Last turn, sir. A oh, sprite jet. Interesting. Tell me more. It's a sprite monster. What does it still do? 
Special summon a sprite, special summon a dude, okay. Uh, I am spoiled for choice. Give me your monster. This is mine now. It's a nice monster. I'm glad that you are donating to a good cause. <laughs> yeah, another troll. You know, why just run all battle traps when you can just steal your opponent's stuff? Make them give you big monsters. Well, that's what we do. All right. Well, unless, unless he had some other plan, I'm pretty sure that's game. He might be in the middle of writing his uh, very salty response. Or just an honorable surrender. All right. You could have at least said F you, but that's just me. All right. Well, we got time for at least one more duel because these are going very quick. So we have time for another duel. Let's go for one more at least. And just keep trolling people. It's been good. All right, it's time for the fourth and final opponent. Let's just, just go into it. So far, it's been good. And let's see, what do we have for an opening hand? It's, it's okay. Not a great hand. I mean, I've got my time, Terran Morganite. Amazing spell. Surprised you don't see more. Well, so many hand effects in this game nowadays. Less decks can or will want to play this, but you could. You could do it. It's not impossible to do. Uh, but we've got ourselves our inspector border. We've got our pack of cephalu. We got solemn jo we got solemn Johnson on our side. That alone, pretty good. Uh, what do we have against a tonda dragons? I have a hard time using our effects with uh, the inspector border on uh, the board. Kind of his whole purpose in life is to just be uh, kind of a dick towards all monsters. So uh, kind of his thing. All right. Uh, currently on the field. Yep. Okay, so what is he playing? Quick launch. Okay. I mean, I have one negate. I'm not gonna just use it to stop quick launch. I mean, I could, but I don't want to. Let's see. Because, yeah, Rocket Tracer doesn't do anything. Does this effect have anything to do with Lynx? I forget. Uh, it does. Okay. Because basically how Inspector Borders, um, I always forget this myself is that he can only activate effects equal to the number of, um, let's see, number of monster effects, monster effects that players previously activated the turn less than the number of monsters on the, yeah, he's got to have like a bunch of exceeds and synchros and links and stuff. Then he can use monster effects. A little confundling, but that's how it works. All right, he's, he's certainly trying. He's certainly giving it a good go. Probably gonna try and summon maybe Minerva? Try to crash into border in order to open up his plays? Perhaps. Possible. Or just make like a link too. Might just make a link too. Ah, uh, I forget if, it, if he makes a link to Arg. Well, that kind of sucks. Just a little bit. Just a wee little bit of shockage. There's a bit of shock shenar. All right, all right, that's fair, that's fair. I, I waited, I was waiting for something bigger. But my opponent had the out. What is he gonna do now? What the heck is this? Twin Triangle Dwagon. A500 target, a high level dude, summon to the zone this card points to. All right. And if he makes a link three, can he use that effect? Like if he makes Nightmare Unicorn or something, which I presume is what he's going to do. Or? Conversely, yeah, you used your effect. You used the one effect you had. There you go. Now you can do more. Now I'm in a bit of a trouble. Uh, even if he doesn't bounce me. Striker Dragon. All right. So this is like one instance of effect. You have to have a bunch of dudes then use your effects. Man, Inspector Borders an ass. Uh, only count effects are activated while the monster's face up on the field. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, yeah, this is gonna be a tricky wicket indeed. He's got ass code talker. And I have... Never mind. I was gonna say I have outs to that, but, like, he didn't want to deal with it. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, okay. I mean, I don't know why he surrendered, but I guess he just didn't want to deal with it. Technically, that counts for a trolley win, but let's go ahead for one more, because that's... It doesn't speak well to me. I want to troll people harder, so let's go for one more. All right, to the fifth and truly final opponent. Last chance for my opponent's romance. We've been doing good. We've been doing good. I mean, Inspector Border is, like, constantly in my hand. 
kind of what happens when you have three of the dang things. Three of them things? Three of them things. All right, let's set two. Actually, it's the final duel. I'm just gonna screw it. Yeah, three cards. Three cards. And a dimension shifter. If my opponent happens to want to shift some dimensions, well, we're gonna have to do without a graveyard. All right, so what are we up against? 40-something card deck, 10 card extra deck. Fascinating. What is he hitting? I would love to save that, but that would be a waste. Dang, my back row. I kind of like to have my back row. The ruler of darkness, no more. Um, no. I'd rather not do that, but no. All right. My opponent has a lot. He seems to be anti-anti-meta. Hit the wrong card. Yep. Never can tell which cards, which cards. Yeah, I control people politely. Don't tell me it's not allowed. All right, well, my opponent seems to have... I still don't know what this deck is. Blue Peeps, Whitey Dragons. Interesting. Wait, he could have just... Man, you could have linked that... Oh, is he not playing Link Karibo? Foolishness. All right, there you go. He's, he's, he stopped the infective order. Ass Blossom. He's going to put... You're going to put ass in my face, young man? Because I don't appreciate that, just so you're aware. All right. So this is a blue eyes white dragon deck. Maybe not the most competent blue eyes white dragon deck, but it is a blue eyes white dragon deck. Indeed it is. And he's gonna be summoning a blue peeps whitey dragon of some form. I forget, it could be any blue eyes, right? Yes, any blue eyes monster. So he could summon uh, the white one, uh, which is exactly what he's gonna do. Um, creepy. This is a quick effect, let's see. Uh, let's see. If your phone kills a monster, okay, no, we're good. That's unfortunate indeed. He banished my Starm and Mirror Hearts. I kind of needed that, but I'll I'll make do. So say goodbye to Inspector Border, but we're actually not going to stay the Inspector Border. You see, this is only a quick effect. Uh, if I have a monster, therefore, if I don't have a monster. It's not a quick effect anymore. So now I can just crack down on this thing, steal the blue eyes, set another card, go for game. Oh wait, I can't attack with this thing. That's right. That's that's kind of the that's kind of the thing about crack. Yeah, <laughs> you can't attack. All right, now we just really, really, really uh, would appreciate it if my opponent would blow up my back row. Then I can start summoning a big nasty things. As it stands, what can we do here? I, I could really use my time steering Morganite right now. That would be good. Because then I could start getting into my draws. Like I said, we don't search in this deck, but we draw a bunch. <coughs> lots of pots, lots of time stones, lots of stuff. All right. I think me stealing this was probably harmful to my opponent's place. But damn, he, he opened up pretty hard to get around my stuff. What is this? Stay to the eyes of blue. Add a tuner from the deck to the hand, except for itself. Okay. I to remember what you could get. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Uh, target effect monster controls to the, the grave. Summon a blue eyes from the hand. Okay. Ah, that's exactly what I wanted. Exactly what I was hoping to get. All righty. I keep forgetting I can't attack. I'm dumb. Why do we keep trying to do that? I should have just normal summoned Dimension Shifter. Tiny and insignificant that he is. And yeah, I mean, that's better than anything. I've got cards in the grave. This is really just a dead weight. Next turn. Maybe. Might have missed the opportunity, but it's all good. What's he got? Protector with the eyes. Summon a tuner from the hand. Interesting. Summon that specific tuner. Okay. All right. Well, my opponent has. Let's see. Special a blue eyes from the hando. Okay. Curious why he didn't send the. Oh, he's gonna go for synchros. Of course, of course. 
Of course. All right. So, bit of a tricky situation, this one. Obviously, I have outs to this. I still have them in my, uh, I don't have them on the field right now. May have underestimated my opponent slightly. Ever so slightly, but it's, you know, I, I definitely should have just, I summoned, should have summoned Shifter in that attack. I would have, I would, I would still be staring down blue eyes, but at least I would have done some more damage. I'm thinking like a, I'm thinking like I'm not trolling right now. I'm like, oh, damage. Yeah, Spirit Dragon, okay. Doesn't affect me too much. That's fine. Protector, I really need... What do I need right now? I need Border or Pack of Suffalo, and then a Trap that protects me. That's what I really need. Will I get any of that? That's the question. Can he summon another one of those shiny dragons? Or this thing. Uh, this is the one that... What does this one do? Target card opponent turns to the hand. Okay, cool. All right. Inspector border number two. Yeah, that's right. I have inspector border number two. Uh, oh no, we can still. Uh, I can still use that effect, can't he? Uh, let's see. Can this card battle. Okay. That does that. That does that. This does this. Shoot. I might actually lose this one. Not for nothing, but yeah, losing Storming Mirror Force, oddly enough, that would have been really helpful. Uh, but no, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know indeed. Should have attacked with Shifter when I had the chance, maybe, possibly. That's the thing about D Shifter. It's really good if you go in sec, like in the off chance you go second. Your opponent needs their graveyard. It's a really powerful card. Otherwise, it can be a slight brick. But then again, we have, you know, we can get stuff. Oh yeah, I got no. I got two summons. Okay. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. We're gonna. Should I troll him? You know what? This is a troll deck. We're trolling. I'm gonna tribute set. He'll never guess what this is. Never. All right, blue eyes man. Let's see what you got. Actually, I think we might just lose this. I think this is... Okay, this is definitely the one we lose, unless he's... Unless my opponent is super cautious and top decks into their one copy of Harpy's Feathered Ulster. I don't know if we can win this one, because he's going to... Yeah, he's going to summon back this guy and banish my set card. Oh! Uh, oh, wait. Wake of the Dragon still goes off. Yes! All right, I can summon whatever the hell I want. Sweet. All right, what do I want to summon? That's the question. Um, this would be good, but it doesn't work in this situation. Uh, Dragoon is not big enough. Well, he's kind of big enough, in a way. Uh, I admit a monster effect. Let's go for Crystal Clear Wing Synchro Dragon. He's big. He's big. That'll work. <laughs> I forgot. That works if it leaves the bit board in any way. It don't matter how, it just do. Uh, okay, well, I have a spell negate, so that all works out for me. Yeah, that's right. Crystal clear wing, single dagger. Very powerful monster. My opponent uses a monster effect. I can make myself immune to those. Gain attack. And spell trap negate every turn. Absolutely, I busted. All right. All right, so he's gonna use the effect of the blue eyes, Jet a Dragon. Oh. Oh no, we got around it! Wait. It still activated a monster effect, but okay. I've... My victory! Stolen from me! Oh, uh, GG, sir. GG, you got me. Ah. Oh. Oh, uh, we have a monster bag. That was a bit, but that. Anyway, this synchro summon, blah, blah. Why it no work for me? Okay. It doesn't matter. We, we got lots of good duels today. Let's go for the end screen. All right, everybody. Uh, the anti meta trolling of 2023. Just, it, it's the classical trolling. It's classic trolling. And we got four wins out of five. Now, 
this deck as you can tell it, it's all about the troll it's all about just screwing with your opponents and you know that's uh, that's the appeal is just that you're taking the game just a little less seriously for once you're not just trying to combo out your wombo you're just trying to you know just trying to take an opponent who takes the game too seriously and take him down a notch you know you're not trying to be too offensive about it just be like inspect the border you know you want to out it play regeki there you go so we got ourselves our duels we did some pretty good dueling uh, as you can see ca i guess blue eyes cas casual stuff has a bit better chance against this deck because they're not always as reliant on uh combo wombos so the deck works pretty good and i enjoyed playing it makes me feel better so thank you everybody for watching if you did enjoy it please consider hitting the like button consider subscribing if you haven't already or if you're new to the channel and you just want to help the channel go go places and next time i think i'll try the melfi sprites just to do something combo -y. maybe in july we'll do some more troll decks that would be fun uh for now though your boy Melfi signing out i'll see you guys again very soon take care until next time y'all stay safe and happy peace